Hey, subscribe in this video. Ah, I just wanted a bit of money and parting with love. How do I get money from your family without parting with you? We will be spending more and more time together. Doesn't that make you happy? Hey, let's run away together. Let's build a house and live happily. Just the two of us. Enjoy the ASMR. My dear. Oh, don't stay so far away. Come closer. You have nothing to fear now. Oh my. You look so frightened. Let me come closer to you then. You look traumatized. Oh, what are you doing here? Don't you remember? No? <laughs> well, let me start from the beginning then. You have been kidnapped. It's well known that you come from a very wealthy family. And therefore, they have a lot of money. That's why me and my accomplices thought of kidnapping you. It seems like a simple and quick solution to get what we wanted. <laughs> Money can drive people crazy, you know. We blind. It even makes one deaf to reason. <laughs> That's why you find yourself here. But you must be wondering why I'm talking about my accomplices when I'm alone here. Right? If I took part in this kidnapping, it was only for money. I'm used to doing dirty work to make a living. Even murder, for example. After all, I remain an assassin. But when I saw you, so cute, so vulnerable, I was relieved to see that this mission was just a simple kidnapping. However, that wasn't the opinion of my colleagues. They were impatient at the past time. Some of them started to hurt you. You received so many blows that you fell unconscious. That's probably why you are having trouble remembering exactly what happened. And apparently, some of them even had the idea to, uh, to touch you. Uh, fortunately for them, I wasn't there when they dared to lay a hand on you. If I had been, I would have killed them all on the spot. <coughs> uh, finally, doesn't change much since I killed them all. Anyway, I just regret not arriving sooner. Because of that, you have several wounds. <sighs> oh, of course, I killed them. After all, they were more acquaintance than friends. If you want, I can even detail how I took <laughs> the leader of our group? Yeah, he's the one I finished off first. <laughs> he screamed like a pig. It was quite funny. You deserve it after all the things he did to you. I cut him into as many pieces as the number of times he dared to touch your body. 
I also took a bit at one of those men. His head must be not far from here. <laughs> Alas for the others, well, I just found sure there are vital points. I had to be efficient if I wanted to find as quickly as possible. And now I'm here. So you have nothing to fear anymore. I just want to hold in my arms. There. Let me hold you. It's true that I cover in blood. Oh, and it's so hard to know. Oh. Oh, what a fool I am. Oh, I was on your face. Someone as precious as you shouldn't be dirty like this. There. That's better. You're much more beautiful without those ugly blood stains. I cannot stand the idea of anyone hurting you. You are so precious to me. I don't know how to explain it. I will always watch over you. No matter what happens, no one will be able to harm you as long as I'm here. I want you to be mine. And I will not let anyone hurt you. You belong to me now, forever. Uh, oh, why are you looking at me like that? Who if I have expressions? I just want to make you happy. <laughs> you are not afraid of me, are you? Yet you are trembling. You wouldn't be lying to me, would you? prefer it that way. It would be a shame if you were scared of your future husband. <laughs> oh, I haven't told you about it yet. I thought we could get married. To be honest, the ransom I was supposed to get would have provided me with a hefty sum. But given the situation, that seems unlikely now. But here's the thing. How do I get money from your family without parting with you? That's when I had such a brilliant idea. We are going to get married. <laughs> if I threaten to harm you, which I would never do, of course, I will let me take your hand. I'm a genius, aren't I? That will not work. What do you mean? Your parents must have enough to meet my demands. They have a lot of money, don't they? Oh, your parents are they deceased? Oh, my dear. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. But you must be living with other family members, right? Oh, that's the case. You live with your aunt and uncle. Perfect. I'm sure they are well fitted. Oh, they... They had you. And they have taken over your... Inheritance. Oh, that complicates things a bit. Ah, I just wanted a bit of money and pardon to love. Oh, wait, 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 I hadn't noticed until now, but you have several marks on your body that seem older. You also seem rather weakened for someone from noble family. Or are the people you 
left with hurting you. You're some kind of slave to them. What am I gonna do? Well, I cannot just let the people who made this suffer live. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of them. Whether it's your uncle and aunt or not. Uh, do I have to stay here? But uh, all right, all right. I will not do anything to them. I don't even know where. left this place. Even though you cannot see it because of the darkness, the room is filled with corpse and blood. It's not a place for someone as delicate as you. Ah, there. Lean on me. For now, we will just take refuge in one of the neighboring houses. You need rest and care. As for me, I should take a good bath. Cannot cut only while covered in blood. <laughs> well, it's rather simple, but it will do. I will shower first. He needs the bandits here. My dear, are you okay? I can hear you struggling. You cannot treat your big wounds. <laughs> you should have called me for that. There, sit in front of me. I will help you. It would be a shame if these wounds left Mars on your perfect back. Mm. Hmm? Oh yeah, I have wounds on my body too. Well, my fight against the other kidnappers. But don't worry, it's nothing to me. After all, I did all this for you. We're bound now. There, I'm done. Your turn now. Can you touch my back? What? You don't want to? Oh. Oh, oh, all right, all right. If it makes you uncomfortable, I understand. I will wait until you are comfortable. I will be as patient as necessary. Anyway, we will be spending more and more time together. Doesn't that make you happy? <laughs> I want you to know I haven't given up on the idea of marrying you. Hey, let's run away together. Let's build a house and live happily. Just the two of us. <sighs> My love is a little heavy. But if you accept it, I will make you happy. So, do you accept my feelings? <laughs>